very clear that the, the residents of Ferguson and the minority community, they've gotten what they wanted. They, they got some intervention from the feds. They got an investigation. They got a, a real question about the way things are. And now there's some change. And now I think it's up to the community. It's up to those people that, that, that live on avenues and streets that care about their future and their kids to step up and be a part of this change and do something. And this is going to be a story to watch for a long time. Michael, well, I've got to say this right quick. I've got to say this. I gotta say this right quick, but what we have to see is that if the police stop killing unarmed black men, that's the proof in the pudding, not simply well, economic opportunity, but they've got to stop being murdered uh, unfairly. Well, I'll give you this one. What about disarming the police? What about just having them carry nightsticks and the authority to arrest? Right. I mean, now it would take a brave person to do something like that. Right. But if you really want it, there there are places on the face of this earth that That's there right. are police officers that that don't carry firearms. Absolutely. Now, uh, you know, I know the right wing's going to think I'm crazy for saying that. But mm -hmm. if you really want change, uh, you, you have to institutionally show it to the people that that you want to do this. And uh, that would be part of a big social engineering project if Ferguson is going to turn around. That's how I see it. Gentlemen, great to have you with us. I, I appreciate do. the discussion. Thanks for your time.